In the video I did the day after getting this shoulder surgery, I said I was going to do what I can, but I didn't explain why or what that means. This entire video is dedicated to the spillover effect and how to use it to your advantage when you're recovering from surgery. Basically what the spillover effect means is if you only do bicep curls with your left arm, your right bicep gets stronger too, which makes no sense, right? We all know the mantra that bodybuilders are told about how you build big, strong muscles. You lift heavy weights, you do progressive overload, hypertrophy, blah, blah, blah. So it's no wonder that for 50 years, people just laughed at the research that suggested that you could do curls with your left arm and make your right bicep bigger. Study after study was done showing this effect, but the researchers just brushed it off because they couldn't explain the mechanisms of how this could possibly happen. They blamed it on poor test methodologies and all kinds of things. Turns out though, they were right. In 2018, there was finally definitive top-notch research that showed that this spillover effect is real. Think about what this means for bodybuilders. It means the way you build muscles and strength is a lot more complicated than we thought. Using the simple mantra that bodybuilders are taught about how lifting weights and progressive overload builds muscle cannot explain how doing left bicep curls can make your right bicep bigger. It takes a much more complicated explanation. But the thing is, it doesn't matter. It's true. Unilateral training, meaning just training one side of your body, benefits the other side just as well. I had shoulder surgery in 1992 for chronic dislocations at the Curlin Job Clinic. It's kind of the scar right there. I was very fortunate. That was 26 years before the benefits of unilateral training were proven. But Curlin Job is a clinic that specialized in professional athletes. And because of their experience, they knew that this unilateral training effect was real decades before the research establishment put their stamp of approval on it. When I was going through rehab for this shoulder, they had me doing hardcore lifting on my other side to keep the side that was mobilized strong and keep me from losing muscle mass. So what that meant was when I finally got out of the sling two months later, I very, very quickly recovered all my strength and muscle mass. This is just a reminder that it can take decades for research to catch up to what physical therapists and bodybuilders know to be true today. So just because it's not proven doesn't mean it's not real. Just keep that in mind. So even more exciting than the unilateral training effect is there's research showing that working out any muscle in the body benefits the whole body. So that is why when I first started doing exercises after this surgery, the first thing I did was leg extensions because I could do really heavy weights and really tax my quads, which are the biggest muscle in the body, which gives maximum benefit to everything else that was not able to, to work out at the time. I started that at three days after surgery. Five days after surgery, I started doing unilateral stuff on my left side. I was doing cable pull downs for lats and biceps. I was doing abs. So that not only keeps my good side strong, but it keeps my um, mobilized side from losing as much muscle mass as it would so that when I get out of the sling, I will be able to get stronger much faster. Also, a very important benefit of doing what you can is the mental benefits. I took control. I did what I could. 
I'm working out, I'm doing all I can to keep strong and minimize the muscle loss on this side. It feels really good. I am in control. Contrast that to what most people do after surgery. They sit on the sofa and they, they mope and they watch TV and they become the victim. Oh, poor me. It's like that turn, that spirals into depression. Like, do what you can. It's great for the body and the mind. I mentioned this in the video I did a day after surgery, but it's worth repeating now. Let's talk about working with your doctors. You have to do what your doctor says. They are the expert, but push back. Let me give you an example. So you're, when you see your surgeon, um, they're going to say no working out for six weeks. That's your time to push back. You just had shoulder surgery. So Mr. Surgeon, does that mean I can't do leg extensions? That doesn't hurt my shoulder. Can't I do leg extensions? How about riding the stationary bike? Can I ride the stationary bike? That certainly wouldn't affect my shoulder. What about doing curls with my left arm? Can I do that? Can I do isolateral training on this side of my body? And they're gonna, so yeah, yeah, you can do that. They just don't want you to be an idiot and start like doing bench press. They don't want you using this shoulder, but they're not aware that you're savvy enough to know about these unilateral benefits. So work with your physical therapist, work with your surgeon. When they tell you things, make sure you understand and push back if you don't. You don't wanna, you don't wanna do things that are stupid and are gonna hurt you further, but you don't wanna leave things unused in your toolbox that are available to you that will keep you stronger and healthier and get you back to normal as fast as possible. So that's it for today. That's what I meant by after surgery, do what you can. And also a bit about the spillover effect. Thanks for watching. I'm Feeder Zane.